Hi, I'm Craig with Bucars RV Centre. I'd like to talk to you about operating our awnings. Uh, this case here we have a manual awning and with that we have um, travel locks. In this case it is a velcro strap. So we first want to unlock our travel lock. We need to do this to both arms, front and rear. Inside the awning arm we have our rafter arm. There's a lock mechanism on the rafter arm itself, so we're just going to loosen that off on both front and back. And once both sides are free, we're ready to unlock and simply roll the awning out. Then we'll take our rafter arms, it'll slide up, lock into place on, on the head here. We're going to add some tension tighten our rafter arm and that way when the winds come up it'll keep it from buffeting and shaking on the awning. Same goes for the front side. Again a little tension and we can take our draw cord and just wrap it up to our awning arm to get it out of the way otherwise the wind will blow it off the awning tube. And now we're ready to extend our awning. And the manual awnings give us quite a bit of versatility in that we can create a side slope for runoff away from where we're primarily under the awning in rainy conditions. Also, if you like, we can also remove the foot from the sidewall of the trailer. There are holes in the bottom to stake it into the ground so we can walk beside the trailer without inter uh, hitting our awning arm. And teardown is pretty much the same, uh, everything in reverse, so we will Lock the foot back into the clip on the trailer. Lower our awning arms. Loosen, and to remove the uh, oh, rafter arm, there's a clip that we push on the inside. He simply falls back and rests out of the way. And now to re roll the awning up, we're going to grab the tether cord, get a good hold, release some of the pressure, put it in the closed position. I like to come to the middle of my awning so we have equal pull on either side. Let it up to the trailer. I now snug up my rafter arm just so it doesn't, from uh, vibration on the road, unwind itself and, and lose the, uh, the handle and then re-secure our travel lock. With that, your awning is retracted, secured, ready for travel. A uh, mistake I have seen made is for whatever reason, some people come by and flip that switch again. Now it is in the roll out position and with wind speed, it can actually pull out like a parachute and rip the awning off the coach. So when you flip the switch to retract it, don't touch the switch after that and it's stowed and ready for travel.